Austin won't play tonight. Austin Matthews won't be on the ice tonight when the Toronto Maple Leafs host the Nashville Predators. Leafs coach Sheldon Keefe saying that Matthews has been playing through something that's been lingering for a while. The team did not disclose the injury. I'd say he's just day to day. He's, he's uh, obviously he's out there putting in lots of work and, and all of that. So he's clearly not too far away. So he's improving daily. We'll see where he's at for tomorrow. Matthews out means that Bobby McMahon will make his NHL debut. The 26 year old went undrafted and has been making his mark in the AHL with the Marlies. And while McMahon was practicing Wednesday morning with the team, the Leafs had a special audience. Wednesday marked the team's annual dad's road trip and a number of the team's pops were in the stands taking in the moment. My dad's in town. Um, usually uh, put up pretty good results when he's in town too. So um, hopefully he can get uh, get same results this time. It's always fun to to have the have the dads around. The, it's always always a good time. What's your dad do? Uh, he's not doing anything right now. He's uh, he's retired. <laughs> yeah, he's he's getting old. <laughs> well, the Toronto Maple Leafs are hoping to get a W tonight in front of their closest fans. The Toronto Raptors made a special visit Wednesday afternoon to some of their youngest fans. On Wednesday afternoon, the team visited the Scarborough Health Network's pediatric department. I got, I think it was Scotty oh, to cool. sign um, this little thing. I'm going to put these in my room and yeah, it's, it's an amazing day and it's so nice that they can come and give back to the community and give the kids here a chance to see people on TV and stuff like that. I know um, a lot of these kids are big Raptors fans, so for them to be able to see us and meet us and talk to us and just spend a you know, a couple minutes together is a, it's a great cause and you know, just happy to be here. I'm so happy just to be here to help every kid. I mean, for them it's a big day and even for me, I mean, I love to come to the hospitals. Uh, some of them, they got really hard times, even their family. And we are just so lucky the way we live, the, everything we got. And, and we gotta get as much back to the community. This is your first visit with the team to a hospital in the Children's Hospital. What has it meant to you to see the reaction from the kids and how much joy that you've brought to them on a day like this? Oh, it means a lot. It means a lot, you know, just coming here, out here and then seeing the kids and, you know, they were really excited to see us and I feel like we kind of made their day. So for some of them, maybe the lot of the life. So it just feels good to come out here and then know that we 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 have we got support support from from the, for this kid and I mean we're just here to to you know give them some some hope some some motivation. I heard that you learned how to play Connect Four for the first time. Yeah. How do you think you did? I did pretty good. I, mean, I was just playing defense because I didn't know how to attack, <laughs> but I lost at the last moment because OG OG was he was cheating. He was coaching them and he helped them. But I'm gonna be back soon. <laughs> this was the Raptors' first full team in-person visit to a hospital since March of 2020. Of course, over the last three years, they still did virtual visits and individual visits to hospitals. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dutton.